everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Bill Kids. Yes. If you are new, you're welcome. And please make sure you subscribe, tap on the notification bell because you won't want to miss any tutorial anymore. Today's tutorial will be on how to make a shift dress with a tie collar and a puffy sleeve. And trust me, it's going to be very, very beautiful and nice. So what I will do now is this. I'm going to show you step by step on how to make it. This fabric will be for the main dress and the sleeve. Why this should be for the tie collar and then the puffy sleeve that will be attached to the main sleeve. Online classes, we have them every month. They are detailed and you love it. I'll put the contact number in the description box below and also in the comment section. For the tools, they are so much available in wooden and plastic, the hip cuff, pants cuff, straight ruler, and all for pin, thread cutter, tracing wheel, we have the pattern master, yes. So now before we continue, before we get started, the measurements you need, you need your circumferences, then the length of your dress. If you don't know how to take your accurate body measurement, I'll put the link in the description box below and how to make your sleeve. It is very, very easy. You know when the key says it's easy. It is easy. Let's get started. Now I have two yards of fabric here to start working with. So what I did was to just fold over, and you see after folding it over, then I folded over again. So that's just all on that because I want to cut both the front and the back together. Then you need the length of the dress, then the, your hip circumference to check out if it will be okay. For the length, I want it to be 37 inches. So 37 inches is here. But remember, you have to add one inch to fold it, so that will just make it 38 inches, which will be here. I'm just going to mark a straight line there, all down. Then for the circumference, my circumference is uh, 45 for my hip, because that's the largest circumference. So when I divide that into four, I'll have 11 and a quarter. Then I will add his to it, because it's a shift dress, you want it free on you. So I'll add extra half an inch to three quarter inch to that so let's just assume 12 then one inch for the size same allowance that's 13. It's, it's quite okay and i still have some excess which is fine so what i will do now is to insert my vertical measurement and horizontal measurement my vertical measurement has been inserted remember i said the length of this dress will now be 38 inches so half of my ham hole is eight and a half, going to my waist, 16 and a half, my hip, 24. So now the first thing we have to do now is to insert the eight, three inches, eight inches standard to determine the slope, three inches, eight inches. Then from the eight inches, I'll just come down by one inch Then connect straight to the three inches. Then I can insert my shoulder measurement, that is half of my shoulder measurement, which is eight and a half. Then I come to the hormone area and insert eight and a half to get the hormone line. So can you see that? So let's go over to the horizontal measurement. My bust circumference is 42, half of that is 10 and a half. Yeah. Then I can add his to it just to make it, since it's a sheep dress, just make it free, though it depends on your preference. So instead of 10 and a half, I can just make it 11 or 10 and 3 quarter. So it depends on your preference. So let me just make it 11 inches. So that's that. After that, you had your 1 inch for side seam allowance. Going to my waist. My waist circumference is 36, so when I divide that by 4, it will give me 9. But because this is a shift dress, I'm just going to make it 10. The next round, 1 inch for the side seam. Going to the hip, quarter of my hip measurement is 11 and quarter. So I'll have extra half an inch to that, so it's going to give me 11 and 3 quarter. That extra 1 inch. The five seam allowance, so let me just connect that first. That's my hip curve. 
So now I'm going to the hem. I'm going to the hem of the dress now. I'm just going to make it straight. So whatever I have here will be added to this part. So here I have 12 and 3 quarter. So I'm going to move down here. 12 and 3 quarter or probably make it 13. So whatever you have at the hip, just bring it down. So this is a short dress, so you'll be able to move freely. That's no problem. So we are done with that. So let's move over to the handhold area now. So for the handhold, I'm just going to get the midpoint from the one inch slope. So half of this is after that i'll come in by three quarter inch that's for the front hand hole this will be for the back that's the back hand hole then from the front that's the front hand hole so the next thing now is to go to the neckline so for the back, I'll just make it either half inch or one inch is fine, but I'll just make it three quarter for the back, three quarter, that's for the back, then I'll connect to the three inches. If you are not a plus size, you can just make use of two and a half, but for me, three inches is fine. So this is what I have, that's because of the color, that's why I'm making it three quarter so having done that now then for the front i'm going to make it three inches too so that will be three inches by three inches that is because of the color so that's three inches so let me talk about the neckline again because i have to bring the camera closer so looking at it now for the back neckline now usually i make use of one inch but here i just made use of three quarter inch that's because of the color so now, having done that, I maintain the 3 inches. So for the front now, I'm just going to measure 3 inches. By 3 inches, I made use of. So 3 inches is here. So then I'll make a perfect round shape. So if you are someone that is petite, if you are not a plus size, you can make use of 2 and a half. For 3 inches by 3 inches is okay for me. So by the time I take in half inch seam allowance, it will be okay. So now I will determine the length of the opening I want in front of it. So I could just decide to make that 6 or 6 and a half. So it depends. So I will just make use of 6 inches. So between 6 and 7 is fine. So that's 6 inches. So I will just make a little... Can you see that's about a quarter of an inch? Then I'll connect straight to the six inches point. So now that's what I have. I need to see that. So the last thing now I'm going to do is to have the half inch seam allowance to join this up. Half inch. Half. So half inch for the shoulder seam allowance. I mark that. So that's what it looks like. So now I'll have to cut it out before we continue with the front. Right now I have to stop here because when I want to cut it, I will cut the back armhole first and the back neckline. This is because we are cutting it together. set that aside and continue with the front so what do i do now all i have to do is to finish the front ham hole and then cut the neckline So 
particular system from here. This is what the front will look like. The collar will be here and this will be open. I made use of six, but you can make use of seven or eight, depending on what you want. So now let me cut the sleeve and the collar. Back to the collar now. I just cut out a long strip of fabric. Can you see that? Let me just measure it up. So this is 60. So I have 69 and a half. Long strip of fabric. Then it's on fold. Then the width is about that's five inches between five and five and a half in width. So when I fold it, I have like that will be two and a half. So half inches will be to sew it up. Then I'll be left with two inches in width, which is fine. So this is how it's going to be. Then we'll just have to fold it and notch the middle because we will need the measurement of the neckline to know where we will stop after sewing the edges because some of the edges will be open so we need to sew it on the wrong side but this part will be open i'll show you how to do that so going over to the sleeve now the sleeve is divided into three. First, i have the main sleeve looking at it now so this is one sleeve the other sleeve this on the wrong side So this is one sleeve this is the other sleeve then i'm going to have a little gathered fabric with this same material attached to this main sleeve so i just cut out a long strip of fabric again not as long as the collar for this i have four inches so I'm going to take it in by half an inch, then half an inch to join to this main fabric. So I'll be left with about three inches, which is fine. Then in length, I have 22. So 22 times two, that's like 44 inches in. In width, the length is four inches. So I'm just going to hem the lower part, then gather it up before attaching to the, the main there to the main sleeve so that is the second part then to the top part now i have this same fabric as the collar i cut out two strips can you see i want the length to be to be 10 inches but here i have 12 inches half i need to join to the main sleeve and then about two inches to to roll in the elastic because there's going to be elastic at the lower part so by the time i pull it off it will be shorter so now i have 12 inches here then in width all i did was to take the measurement here so here this is eight times two so that is 16 those seam allowance has been added so i just double that so i have about Okay, here I have 30 because this is 15 times 2, that is 30. So just multiply whatever circumference you have here by 2 or 2 and a half, that's okay. So here now, the upper part will be gathered to be attached to this along with the gathered fabric. While the lower part here will be rolled in with elastic tray. So I've explained the sleeve now. So I have for each part. So now let's start sewing up our outfit. The next stage now is to join the front and the back at the shoulder. But before we do that, we need to finish up this slit in front of the fabric. So let me set the back aside. So this is what the front looks like. So what I did is to cut out a facing. What did I do? Fold it up like this, get a fabric. Can you see that? Then I place that also on fold this way. Then I just place this on it, make sure the folded parts are lines. Then I just trim it off to some place around the neckline. So the first thing I'm going to do now, before joining it at the shoulder, now is facing the right side of the main fabric. Can you see? Because by the time we bring it in, it has to be on the right side. So I haven't placed it this way. Then I'm just going to sew in quarter of an inch, very tiny. 
a deep V. When you get here, make a deep V, and that's all. You don't have to sew this part, no. Just this V only, then we can notch and turn. After doing this now, I'm just going to make a slit close to the seam. So can you see that? After doing that, then I can just bring it all in. Make sure you hem this part, but I'm just going to use this my overlocking machine to finish that. So this is what I have now. Can you see that? So I'm just going to give it a good press. So on the wrong side, this is what I have. So I'll just take to the sewing machine again to just stitch this down. I'll just stitch it down just to make it go down because I'll be attaching the collar to that part. So I'll just give it a good press now. Then attach both the front and the back at the shoulders. You can see the neckline, how beautiful it looks. Then I've sewn this part down just to make it even. The next thing now is this. I want to sew up the collar. But the first thing you need to know is this. First, take this and find out the center back. This will help us when we are sewing. So now, can you see that? Then I'm going to notch this part because it will help us when sewing it up. So that is the center back. So what I will have to do now is to measure whatever I have here because it will help me when sewing up the collar. So make sure you take your accurate measurement. So here I have eight and quarter. So when I double that, that will give me 16 and a half. Yeah, so that is 16 and a half. So the total circumference is 16 and a half. So let's note that. Now let's go to the collar. The 16 and a half will be needed here. So what I'm going to do now is this. This is the midpoint. Then I will notch this. So that will be the center back. After that, I'm going to measure eight and quarter. Though that gave us uh, 16, uh, 16 and a half. So that's that. Here, from the edge, then I'm going to notch that eight and quarter because that is what is needed. So I'm going to notch that. So all that part is going to be open. Then I can open up the collar. So I'll turn this to the wrong side now. Can you see that? Then I'm going to sew in half an inch or quarter inch from this to close it up. Then I'm going to sew it all down to the point where I notched. So this is the point where I notched. Can you see that? Then I will have to skip that part. I'm going to skip it and get to the other part. Now, this is the other part I notched. Then I'm going to continue sewing up from there. And you see that all down, then close it up. So I'm going to have this part open. So let me do that and show you. On the collar, and I have the opening for the for attaching it to the main dress. Can you see that? So it's open. I've used my pressing iron to press in the seam allowance. So it stops here. Can you see? And on this other side, it stops here. So all this has been closed up. So what do I do? I just note the center back. This is the center back because I notched it. So I'm now going to have to take this and you see that so you can work with your pin so make sure it matches the center back and you see that so firstly I will just have to sew this all down can you see that so after attaching this also on this side I will attach this after doing that so you have this all sewed down then you now have to cover it up with this this is the center back too because of the notch then i will now have to sew it very close to it can you see that then i'm going to make sure everything fits into the collar can you see that and i can now have my collar so let me do that the collar has been attached to the neckline now can you see that so it is nice so for me, this is not so long, so I use about six and a half. So for you, seven to eight is very nice, because I just wanted this one. Seven to eight is nice for the total 
neck dead. So having done that now, just take it, turn it to the wrong side to sew up the sides. So the next thing will be to fix this sleeve now. So let's work on the sleeve. The sleeve now, this is the basic sleeve. So this is the strip of fabric I was talking about.